Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kara no Kyo Kyo movie reaction, movie number 2. Um, this is called uh, uh, Kara no Kyo Kai 2 uh, Satsujin Ko Satsu Zen uh, or in English uh, Garden of Sinners movie 2 uh, Murder, Spe Murder Speculation part 1. Okay so this is like a two part I think uh, whatever is going to happen is going to happen in two parts so this is the first part and uh, yes and uh, this is movie number two and i've decided on doing it in the uh, release date order because that's more fun like <laughs> to uh, understand the like the messed up timelines and everything it's quite fun to like uh, later on when you uh, think about it you're going to have fun uh, thinking like yeah that thing happened before and that things like uh, happened at this moment and that that's uh, that's that has an appeal on its own so yeah i'm doing it in a release date order so yeah that uh, previous movie was amazing and um, one thing i'm going to say is like i'll try my best <laughs> to keep up with everything but uh that's quite difficult as as far as i've understood and uh, like uh, since this is a timer reaction like i can't uh, pause the movie to like uh, understand or go back like that would mess with the timer and would mess with uh, like uh, to the to the people who are watching with me so uh, that's quite difficult okay and uh, so uh, whichever part portion i don't get i'll try to like uh, revisit them after the end of the movie uh, when i'm discussing it so like i hope that uh, like I am able to understand everything in the first try. Uh, that's the best uh, outcome. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with uh, Kano Kyokai movie number two. And the timer and the subtitles will be given. Uh, sync it to your preference. And let's get started. Okay, um, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see the volume. Oh, it's okay. Hmm. Snowing? It's Christmas? It's something? Is the sound slow? What the hell? There's no sound or what? Oh no, there is. Oh, this is a uh, Kokto, isn't it? Yeah. All right, the, the place is quite empty. Oh, Shiki. Oh, she's wearing a um, yukata, I think, or kim is that yukata or kimono? I I can't like differentiate between those two. Okay, in Fate Grand Order, she has like uh, a ser the servant wearing this attire. Wait a second, he doesn't know her? So is this like their first meeting? Yeah, I think this is like the first meeting or something. The Garden of Sinners. Just a sec. Um, damn. Wow, the like the visuals, like it's amazing. Like uh, this is quite old, and the amount of like visual clarity. Hmm. Okay. 
okay <laughs> ending ceremonies as always Okay, why, why is Shiki over here? Like, <laughs> yeah, this is the first, first meeting, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, he she did not remember him. She smiled at him before, so like murder speculation part one and nothing hurt. Nineteen ninety five. Okay, so she is like at a rich family. Wow, the house is big. Like, they're pretty, like, rich. And tradition as traditional houses go, like, this is a traditional house. want to believe I'm alone rejection or like yeah rejection to other towards other people damn the music oh Okay, this is quite spooky. Oh no. Uh, Jesus. Oh God. Oh my God. What? Uh, what happened? Who is this? Who is this? Is this? It's looking like Shiki a lot, but yeah, it is Shiki, isn't it? Oh no, I think it's someone else. Okay, okay, so that's why she was unable to recognize him, or or is it? I don't know. I think it's something like that. Well, she, she's like a student here. Wait a second. So he did not know her, even though he, she, she is in the same class. <laughs> okay, so that's where the red jacket comes from. <laughs> yeah, a red jacket.
Okay, um, someone's getting stabbed here, middle of the night under a bridge. Okay, hmm. Hmm. Arms and legs were cut off and left there. Yeah, definitely, like blood loss. Yeah. Hemorrhagic shock, okay. <laughs> mm, she didn't need it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. Because new character or food the. Damn, like he was messed up pretty bad. Okay, the yin and yang. Cancelled. Hmm. Oh, okay, this guy looks like the murderer. Like, four times is a bit excessive. Well, he's suspicious a lot. Like, his eyes and everything. I might be wrong, <laughs> like. <laughs> That's just blind guessing <laughs> without any proof and anything based on appearance. I'm judging. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> startled <laughs> Oh okay Just a sec. Hang on, one hour later. 
Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, the music is changing. Okay. Oh my god. Um uh <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Um hello. Where were you until now? She doesn't need you. What? Like... Hmm. So she has some relation with that murder because those kind of flashbacks came. I thought they were different for people, but there must be something else. Like some kind of split plus personality or something? I don't know. Damn, the water, the animation. Okay. Okay, another murder. And legs and hands chopped off, I think, yeah. Fifth one. Hmm. Okay, so she's not involved. I'm confused now. Like, she did not kill that guy. Okay, I'm thinking about this too much. Okay, anyways. Okay, this is the reason why she's a saber. Like, in FGO, Saber and Assassin, like two forms. Oh. Like it is so nerve-wracking, like uh, fighting with real swords, even it is, if it is a practice. Okay, like you can get hurt badly. Hmm. Well, that is dad or something. Yeah, I think. Or like his teacher, uh, her teacher. Father, yep. Akitaka. You're the only. Did not inherit what it takes. So I think this is like the first movie, like first or the second, no this must be the first, like like her background and everything is being shown. So chronologically this is the first movie. Uh, 
another shiki wait that means kokto doesn't know she's a girl no 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 okay 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 no okay. yeah she like okay okay that was my mistake <laughs> well, it's a family name, that's why. Preps. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow, they're like keeping the distance. <laughs> Grab it. Wow, her like, the way she talks, everything changed. And her like, walking pattern and everything. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> Wait, like, okay, okay, just a sec. Like, does she have split personality? I'm like thinking. Or is it like... She really hides her emotions well. Like she's barely recognizable through her mannerisms and everything. Hmm. Power lifter. Okay, these are from Sukihime, like these cat things, isn't it? Really, like. So it's correct. Oh my god. Priorities. Oh my god, that um Yeah. 
we could keep it from the longer what destructive impulse that's what she wants to do the most okay split personality that's why all right Okay, like clash of what do you call that? Personality, yeah. The mom and dad? Oh, that's the guy. Okay, okay, so that's his dad. Like that uh, detective or whatever. And the police force. Oh, brother, okay. Nissan, he said. Okay, that is a yin and yang. Fifth month, fourth. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll start. Uh, yeah, mm, that's <laughs> yeah, it might concern you. Okay. okay well it is shaky then okay like her other personality hmm Okay, like he, he has some kind of like inkling that it is shaky. Yeah. Yeah, that's extremely correct.
okay yeah mm, that's kind of like Hmm. Mm, yeah. Well, she's basically admitting it. She keeps to also try to release me. Oh. Okay. Mm, okay, so like Okay, and this is a bit confusing. Okay, I'll talk about this later on How <laughs> dare <laughs> <laughs> well, so are every who can be involved in a normal way. Okay, her hand is hurt. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> she's like basically saying. Okay, so it's... Sixth victim. Okay, so that's where the injury is from. Okay, so that's going to like, um, God. oh my god, okay, well, mm. 
okay um, sorry about that it was buffering so she like goes out every night to kill or something like bent of frustrations and every oh yeah mm. so they know that she's not here and don't don't stop her like Usually people stop. Okay, yeah, that's that's an amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's this guy? No, I wouldn't get to see her if I went now. Caught red handed. <laughs> red handed, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, bad timing. Wait, this is this is the real Shiki, isn't it? Like in the way of her talking. Like doesn't a split personality kill? Okay, like if they investigate it, like that would have been game over. <laughs> mm, it's absent. <laughs> uh, I can guess who that is yeah <laughs> I 
Iya. Well. So he's like keeping watch on her or something like that so that she doesn't go out or something? He did not sleep or like he was awake the whole time. Okay, he stopped. She stopped. Okay. <laughs> she called her by the name. Yeah. She's, she's <laughs> Completely ignoring me. So she is not going out like for her, for killing. Yeah, I think she he's doing that because of that, so that he doesn't he doesn't want her to like go out and. Wow, he he's not getting any sleep and he looks fine. Like, the, the caffeine in the coffee. Okay, yeah, I can get it. Like, she's frustrated because she can't go get out.
so he is getting his sleep somehow like i don't know like or or else it wouldn't been it wouldn't have been possible for him to i think maybe he like goes back home and gets a little sleep then comes to school okay it's dark today oh it's like okay his shift is over Okay, so that is her split personality that committed the murder. And he confessed. Like, in that murder scene, her way of talking Like her way of talking was like the normal Shiki, so I was confused. I thought that it was a normal one. But was that the split personality trying to trick him or something? <laughs> I don't know, confusion. <laughs> so much. Ah. Oh god. Uh, okay, so like a Yukata is blood red. And I think you should probably run away. Oh god. Oh my god. Um Um, whose blood is that? Okay. Oh. Oh no, oh no, um. Let's see which one is it.
Is it a normal one or yeah, I think it is a normal shake, isn't it? Yeah, it must be the normal one because like she doesn't want to kill him. If it was the other one, she would have easily could have easily killed him. Nineteen ninety eight, okay, two years later. Okay, so now we're here. So Hospital. What? What happened? Like, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> See, master. Hmm. She knows the pain of murder. You're a victim and a perfect. Okay, yeah. Only you are hurt. How like how how did she become like this? Like um, is that the end? Yeah. Okay. So um, like. Nothing complicated happened here, but still, it was a bit confusing, especially uh, the last bit. Mm, damn! Ah. Okay, the music is as good as before. Damn! Okay, so like this was a lot less complicated than the first one. Like the first one had a lot of dialogue and everything going by so quickly. But but things were things were like kind of ambiguous in this movie. Like it's like uh, left to your I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Okay, the music is just... <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, so uh, as I, as I was saying, um, like this like like this movie was a lot like it was left onto your interpretation or something because like like I don't know like uh, or there is something that happened but I was unable to get it properly like uh, like in the end like we see Shiki like saying that. Um, uh, like calling him Kokto and then said uh, Kokto saying that uh, I, I don't want to die and then Shiki said that but I want to kill you so like uh, so like was like was the problem like so that means that Shiki herself that is the real personality the main personality had this type of problem where she like tried to kill other people and uh, like because she did not want to act on that she uh, shoved uh, shoved that responsibility to her uh, split personality i think like like the craving is from herself but because she doesn't want to kill others uh, but she, she still had this type of feeling that she wanted to kill so she like uh, shoved that responsibility of like murder into her other personality or something like um like uh that's the only thing that i as far as i can like figure out from everything that happened like the last shiki was a real shiki i have no doubt about that like that was not her split personality that was herself so like those words that she said those were her own words like from her own personality so like why did she say that I, I want to kill you that's the only thing i can think of like the craving comes from herself but uh, the like uh, she copes up with that by committing murder and uh, she shoves that into her split personality like it's uh, like this one like uh, you f you're feeling hungry Hmm. But you don't want to eat, so you're because you're becoming fat. So you like shove the eating portion into your split personality, <laughs> something like that. I know that's not how it works, but still, like as an example. Uh, damn, that's that was a bit like. Okay, let's see if there is some kind of after credit scene. Mm, yeah, three pieces has been a double body. It'll fit me that way. We can see origins. And nothing hurt. Okay, that was. Is that the end? Yeah, that's the end. Okay, so this was kind of okay. Movie number two. Now, um. Okay, so let's like talk about is like uh, as far as I can understand this is the first like uh, the first meeting of Shiki and uh, um, Kokuto and I think this is the first movie uh, I don't know like if this has a prequel to this or not but as far as I can say this is the like the earliest one like the movie number one was a lot later than this so this is like the almost like the first one so um, Okay, so here, like in the f first meeting between Shiki and um, uh, Kokuto, uh, like I think that is like the split personality, I don't know, because um, she was like standing like that and her f smile, that distinct kind of smile, that kind of resembles the way the split personality uh, smiles. So um, like, like let me talk about first split person personality here. Like as far as I know, split personality is something which usually happens when you are kind of repressed 
you repress your emotions uh, and due to phys uh, emotional uh, what do you call it uh, emotional um, uh, torture not torture but uh, emotional uh, what do you call it um, yeah emotional torture and something like that uh, you have been repressing your uh, personality inside you that kind of like makes like you shove your problems into your other personality uh, like in a nutshell split personality is that like um, because of uh, emotional uh, what do you call it uh, disturbance at a very young age you like uh, you shove your whatever you want to do your cravings your like things that you should not do you shove that into your other personality like you can have like t almost like 10 split personalities and uh, usually it is one or two uh, or uh, like uh, three I think but like I think there were like cases where like there were ten multiple personality and it's called like multiple personality disorder or something so yeah that is it like um, you shove your problems into the other personality so that you can stay safe that's the main thing about split personality so like uh, here we see that there are two personalities one is the main shiki and the other is the like uh, the other one in the uh, split personality one shiki and uh, like she went out every night i think to like commit these murders or whatever and uh, and here's the thing like uh, i think this is just my like uh, what do you call it uh, speculation that is like like the main personality is like uh, like here is she says that um, we can see that she has like uh, this kind of thing where uh, she is like uh, people give, give like too much expectation on her and everything uh, I think that this is from the very beginning like from a very young age and um, I doubt that this is the only reason because like uh, just for that reason people don't have split personality like you have to have like very like a very hard past very hard childhood for like a uh, personality to become split like it, like it's a big thing hmm, no, not something small like your family puts pressure on you not something like that like uh, it has to be like a very big thing so i doubt that is the only reason why like she might have other reasons as well we don't know but anyways because of that reason um, her personality was split into two parts and uh, the real personality here um, her being the real one has like the full control of the body like she has the key to the house and the other personality is just like a, a roommate living with her like uh, a tenant so she like uh, even though she can do things with her body uh, not without the permission of the real one so um, like like at the beginning when uh, I was thinking like this like uh, like this is how I was thinking like uh, the main personality was like uh, to uh, what do you call it mm. to uh, clear like uh, to uh, act on her impulses just so that she can act on her impulses she's letting that to the other personality to the, do the murders and everything and uh, like sh she's making her do all the dirty works where she uh, whereas she is like uh, she she's like okay she's uh, she, she doesn't kill but she's doing the other personality do the dirty work but like um i think that was the reason why she did not want uh, kokuto to like um, uh, interact with her more because um like uh, she did not want her to know the real herself or whatever and uh, she and that's the main reason she doesn't talk to others as well but later on as it went on i was like uh, my th thinking pattern changed like uh, like I, it felt as if like she herself wanted to do the commit the murders like uh, that portion where she where kokoto was keeping an eye out on her every night uh, she, like it felt as if she was frustrated like at first in first glance people would usually think that yeah she's frustrated because kokoto is like sitting down there uh, in cold uh, not going back not going to sleep she's concerned about him but i don't think that is it i think she was more concerned about being unable to go out and kill people like i think that is what was happening and she was like biting her nails and everything very frustrated and all and um 
<laughs> because she was unable to go out because uh, he was like keeping an eye out on her so that thing can only happen if your real personality wants to murder like uh, that was the real personality she she, she had the craving to commit uh, 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 murder so like and uh, like that was what was happening and my thinking pattern kind of like changed later on like uh, like what can I say I don't know like these are all like uh, I'm thinking of about all of this one it might be completely wrong but I think that the main um, problem is with the main personality the other personality the split personality is just like uh, there it's just like there to it's, it's like a servant you're, you're telling him to do stuff like this and he, he and he or she is like uh, forced to do it uh, not forced i i doubt she's forced like uh, she, it, she must have something like that in, inside that personality as well like that kind of killing impulse but still like um like the, like she wants to keep her hands clean so like she's uh, pushing that kind of work into the other one as far as i can uh, like uh, i can get from this movie uh like this is like not nothing complicated happened but still like this part was extremely confusing um like it was a lot confusing and uh yeah that was the movie like that was it like the she she says that uh i'm like she is destructive impulse the other person says uh, the other personality says like uh she's like saying that yeah uh, her destructive impulse is me like personified so like whenever shiki like feels like uh, like uh, something doing something damaging or uh, like uh, feels as if destructive impulse is increasing that is carried out by this personality so yeah yeah that kind of like answers the question that uh, the main person who is like thinking about it is the real shiki and the person who carries carries it out is the other one so uh so yeah and uh, at the end now at the end uh, that was confusing to me as well like sh th that she said that i want to kill you and uh, like i don't know like um i can understand that she like sh she has this kind of impulse of killing people so i can understand like she uh, her saying that to kokto but out of her, like all of the under, other conversations he had with Kokuto and everything, nothing of that sort came out. Like she was like normal, and she just wanted Kokuto to like uh, uh, st stay away from her because of oh yeah, that's the reason why she wanted to, to stay uh, make Kokuto stay away from her because she knew that she like wanted to kill him, but she he was a good guy and he did not want to kill him. Like that was like kind of like the contradiction within his within her mind, like. Uh, she li liked talking to him, liked uh, spending time with him, but because of that like she wanted to kill him. Okay, this is, this is pretty like, uh, what do you call it, uh, paradoxical situation. <laughs> like it's the human psyche, like it's the uh, human, uh, what do you call it, emotions and everything. <laughs> like it's bound to be like this type, like complicated and everything. <sighs> and um okay so uh, yeah like uh that was it i think um as far as i can understand like nothing much was like shown in this uh movie and one thing i'm thinking is like like I, as i said before like just because your family like puts pressure on you that is not that can't be the only reason for her to be like this like um, there are a lot of people who put pressure on their children and like wants uh, uh, him or her to like uh, succeed the family and all of this pressure and everything but they don't have multiple personality like multiple personality is a very what do you call it rare case and like it happens to people who are like extremely like emotionally abused at the um, like at a young age or like who are like put in const constant pressure like emotionally men uh, mentally physically everything like multiple personality disorder is for those type of people and um I can see here like Shiki is like like her family even though her family puts pressure on her it's nothing too serious like 
uh, she has a servant and uh, like people expect more from her like she's not uh, abused I, I don't I didn't see any kind of like mental or em emotional or physical abuse so I, I doubt that uh, that was the only reason for her like splitting out of, of personality I don't know like uh, I have no idea I, I kind of like uh, I'm saying all of this based on like other animes and other uh, uh, stories that I've read so there might be something more like I don't know and uh, and oh and then at the end like uh, like she said that I wanted to kill you and after that it kind of like uh, fast forward to two years um, and uh, like we see uh, she'll suddenly see her in coma or something like that like how the hell did, did that happen and I think like uh, I don't know if like this uh, time skip uh, period that is a uh, two years if it is like uh, covered in some other movie which is going to come I don't know but uh, like that was kind of abrupt like I did not really expect that and in the first movie like in the first movie there was nothing like this like Shiki was okay uh, Kokto was kind of like um, her, his soul was taken out but he still became okay later on so like I think that is like a lot after this so like uh, this is a lot before like this is like in 1995 it happened the first uh, situation then it suddenly like uh, fast forward to s 7 or 8 I think uh, what was that how many years was that um, just a sec uh, okay I can't find it 1998 okay five six seven eight three years so like it fast forwarded to three years and here we can see like shiki like sleeping and i can't remember the first movie's date actual date uh, i forgot but that must be like after this like a lot after this so yeah like the order i can kind of get what it's happening uh, how the movies are playing out <coughs> and uh, like um like at the beginning like there is a guy like uh, if you guys uh, remember uh, who, I, who I was talking about like after the murder happened and everything uh, at first I was like no this Shiki must be the different kind of Shiki because like and the way she talks and everything is uh, extremely different then like, later it came into my mind that there is a thing called multi multiple personality disorder split personality and I was correct like and uh, and there was this guy who was talking to like um Kokuto? No, no, not Kokuto, like Shiki. Uh, I don't know. And I said that he must be the murderer before knowing anything that it was actually Shiki. <laughs> and yeah, like people like that, like he looked really, really shady. Like uh, the, the way she, he talked and everything, like uh, the, his face and everything. And usually in murder mysteries and everything, uh, uh, we sh usually see um, the murder almost at the beginning. Like there is uh, uh, something called the Knox rules or something where it is like the murder should be like uh, present from the uh, almost at the beginning. Uh, it sh he should not be introduced at the l like late in the uh, case. So like that's the main thing. Like the murder are usually present in the uh, like presented at the beginning so i like kelsey said that yeah he must be the murderer <laughs> but i was wrong <laughs> the murderer here was like uh, shiki and the funny thing is like in Knox uh, commandments there's also another thing that is the person through whom you're seeing the case must not be the murderer that is the detective should not be the murderer and here's the funny thing we're seeing it through kokto's eyes so like even though the main character is shiki he's not the she, she's not the narrator so sh she is clear for being the murderer like she can be uh, uh, put uh, as a murderer so it also like <laughs> maintains these rules as well like it's really like uh, what do you call it uh, amazing to think about like all of these rules and everything the Knox 10 if, if you guys don't know check out Knox 10 commandments like in uh, mystery and Sherlock Holmes and everything like these are like the like these are like the rules and regulations of a murder mystery and they're quite uh, fascinating to think about like all of these mystery uh, like rules have been made so that we can enjoy the uh, uh, mystery mur murder mystery and uh, 
and here we also see like Shiki uh, wielding a katana which is obviously uh, which fate granddaughter took from this I think like uh, her saver form uh, that we use in fate granddaughter she has two forms if you guys don't play fate granddaughter she has two form in the game one is the assassin uh, part uh, which is the normal shiki here and the other one is her saber counterpart where, where she uh, wears a kimono and uh, wields a katana and uh, yeah i think that was this was like the inspiration from it and uh, yeah that was this uh, movie uh, if i miss something or i'm i'm, I'm misunderstanding something uh, please uh, cut me in the comments like as far as I, like i'm giving you a little summary of whatever i understood uh, as far as i could understand is that um like uh, shiki uh like wanted to, did not want to make friends but still kokuto was like uh tried to make friends with her she did not like that because uh she was thinking like yeah kokuto might like uh uh doesn't know me real um, the real me that is a murderer me so she wanted to like uh, brush him aside but was unable to do that because uh, being uh, a person human person human being she was lonely so like this kind of thing like made a contradiction within herself like she wanted to talk to him but she did not also want to talk to him at the same time because like uh, she was a murderer and everything so she t tried to brush him away so the second counterpart that is the other personality took over for for her uh, quite a bit and talked with him and kind of like um, hinted him that yeah i was the one doing the murder kokuto was unable to uh, like understand that and later on like uh, after seeing it with his own eyes he got what she was saying but s still he like denied it he, he was denying it like he said that no the uh, shiki i knew would not do that so like this must be like the other personality doing this and she, he also like um, gave a false testimony to the police um, uh, because of that reason and also because he liked her and everything and uh, Shiki was uh, like still uh, Kokuto was uh, interacting with her and Kokuto also tried to like make her stop committing the murders by uh, sitting there at night and Shiki became frustrated because she was unable to like uh, vent out her frustrations and everything was unable to kill people so she later on called Kokuto out like said that uh, you're going to come today aren't you and uh, she, she like then tried to kill her uh, or scare him not kill him but scare him i don't know if he, she really wanted to kill him or not but she tried to scare him uh, so that and after that it suddenly like uh, then she said that yeah i want to kill you and kokuto said that no i don't want to die and everything and then suddenly time skipped uh, a few years later and uh, we see that she's in a coma and yeah that's the story in short uh, the movie in short so if i miss something or if i am like misunderstanding something be sure to guide me down in the comments and no spoilers please but please like uh, regarding this um, movie this uh, movie number two if you have anything to add uh, into my uh, like anything you want to correct be sure to do that in the comments and uh, like i really want to know if i'm like mistaking about something or not like i have a other kind of like in my uh, whatever i thought out was wrong or something i want to really know that so yeah okay that was a long time uh, i'm uh, doing this uh, recording okay uh, thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press that like button and uh, comment down below as i said uh, anything you want to correct me on or anything you want to say if i said something uh, wrong or something so be sure to say uh, that in the, those in the comments and um, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do that and uh, yeah so I'll be back with a new movie reaction that is movie number three uh, of Kara no Kyokai next week. Um, so yeah, uh, be sure to check that out as, as, out as well. I'm planning on doing uh, each and everything on in this franchise um, weekly. So yeah, be sure to like <laughs> uh, check those out as well. So yeah, uh, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next week. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.